We are Science Sophie. This is Coastal News, a home and away podcast. Your weekly episode companion podcast for your favourite Aussie soap. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. This is Coastal News First Look. And we're going to look ahead to see what is coming up this week in the Bay. So we're going to read through the synop- synopsis. I had this conversation with you last week. <laughs> Synopses, synopsis. I have no idea. Uh, those for the episodes that are going to be airing on Channel 5 and 5 Star this week. And we're going to try and guess what's going on. So just yeah. before we do that warning, this may contain spoilers because it usually does, doesn't it? Mm. And I'm joined, as always, by Sai. You can hear him anyway. Hi, Sai. Hello, Sarah. Yeah, sorry. I- <laughs> <laughs> just excited. Here, ver- verbal Nancy, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah. As well as, mm-hmm. How are you? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. How are you? <laughs> yes, fab. Thank you. Good, good. Yes, good stuff. Excited to hear about what's coming up next week. Always, you know me, like yes. like a plan, like no one like to look ahead. <laughs> Absolutely. God, this is my favourite bit now. Every week. <laughs> what's next? <laughs> what's next? <laughs> right. So we our little game that we start every first look with. What mm-hmm. episode number have we starting the week on? On five star six thirty p.m. episode number is drum roll please eight thousand and twelve. Yes, see we're, d- we're doing well at the moment. Whoa. We're on a streak. <laughs> Got easy numbers. One. Yeah. Oh, no. Wait till the next one because that'll be me guessing, and I'll get it completely <laughs> wrong, and we'll be back and back to normal business. But yeah, you've got it right. Eight thousand twelve. Raise a glass of fizz for you later. Yay. Excellent. <laughs> That's what we like. Right. Let's have a look and see what's happening. So, Tane mixes family and business. Yeah. This is Kahu. 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 Yeah. It? Yeah. And then the next line is also linked. So Felicity adjusts to Hurricane Kahu. Hurricane yeah. Kahu. Yeah, because he's obviously bringing in some trouble. I knew he was going to be trouble. Yeah. Just, there's a little glint in his eye that I was like, I don't want to prejudge too much, but I know that you're going to be naughty. We sort of spoke about this yesterday on the main pod, didn't we? Mm. She sort she sort of met her match, her met her maker here, hasn't she? Mm. Um with old Kahu. Is it Kahu? 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 Are we there? I think they both of them are pronouncing uh, it differently on the show. I think we mm-hmm. need to hear it a few more times before we can yeah. settle on yeah. a pronunciation. But my pronunciations <laughs> are terrible anyway, so I'll always get it wrong. Apologies um, for that. You're not one of them that says, I'm going to Lidl, I hope. Lidl? <laughs> Yeah, no. but you're actually going to Lidl for a bag of milk. It's, it's Lidl. And I yeah, say I, Ikea wrong because we're supposed to say Ikea, aren't we? But I I just say Ikea because I'm mm. I'm British and we just assume everyone talks the way that we do <laughs> 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 and pronounces things the way that we do and they don't. Um, Lyric plans their next move. Oh, we heard something recently about them saying that they wanted to enter the Battle of the Bands and then it wasn't mentioned ever again after that. Oh, like a competition. Yeah. Do you remember somebody said, I think it was Theo, said to, said to Kirby, Remy's cancelled all of our gigs. And everyone went mad. We're like, why has Remy cancelled all the gigs? And they went around to see him. And he said, oh, I want us to do Battle of the Bands. Well, his hands are a lot better. He's been busking his ass off this week. He has. And he's saying yeah. he's got no pain. So maybe they're, mm. I mean, there's obviously another meeting then on Monday, another bad mm. meeting. Bandy. What are we going to do next? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, okay. I don't recall the the uh, what did you call it? Battle. Battle of the bands. Battle. It was about the... two weeks ago. Um, it Kirby had a massive meltdown over it because she went mad at him. She said, "Why have you done this? Why have you cancelled all of our gigs? Why have you not told us?" And then he said, "Oh, I want to do Battle of the Bands." It was about a fortnight ago. Oh gosh, that's it was like bad. it was just one scene. Um, mm. Fair dues. Yeah. So I hadn't heard anything since then. So maybe it's that. I don't know. They need an album. They've had one single. Oh, yes. They need to go into the studio and record mm. something. Yeah, mm. that's a good point. There's a few things they could be getting on with. Mm. Mm. I heard Remy say, you know, when he was busking this week, as you just mentioned, he said to one of the girls that was chatting to him afterwards, we've got a gig <laughs> on Saturday. Didn't he come to, come to Salt at the weekend and see the full band? So they've mm. gone back to those fortnightly gigs at Salt, I think, already. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll have to wait and see what happens. 
Um, Eden seeks advice from Kirby. Do you think this is about the Remy and Cash thing? The the insecurity. Can, it can only be, can't it? Mm. Is Cash struggling to move on? We've, we've we've just been saying we really need that to work. Yeah. On the pod yesterday, didn't we? We really mm. we really want that to sort of work. I'm not here for any of that. It's but, a shame. Uh, it's a shame because just before we saw, you know, before the tickle fight. <laughs> <laughs> and Cash, Cash getting jealous of, of what was happening between the two of them. Just before that, we had a lovely scene with Eden and Remy on the sofa. And they said something like, I'm so pleased with us because we've, we've got, we're both happy. We're both in relationships. But not just that, but we're happy in relationships with normal people, not toxic, mm. good people mm. who've got jobs, etc. We they were just kind of patting themselves on the back just before this and saying oh we're in a good place and we're going out with people and there's no drama and isn't it great yeah. so it would be a shame for a week later for there to be a shed load of drama all of a sudden it would it would a real shame yeah mm-hmm. oh well we'll see marley offers his support to Mackenzie. about time He's, he he promised Ian he'd look after her um and, last and he's week, been it, pandering to xander hasn't he yeah and last week um, poor Mac had to uh, had to open up her whole heart to Blooming John, mm. you know, and he he promised Dean he'd be around for her. Yeah, Out and, time, actually, I and actually, if he had done what he he told her, because she said to him, "Move into the house while I'm away." If she if he'd done that, he'd have been there when she came home that first yep. day, and instead she spent two days on her own in the farmhouse mm-hmm. with nobody, mm-hmm. parked round the back. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a euphemism. But... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she put a car around the back of the house because that, that's what yeah. he said, didn't he? I didn't know you were home because I couldn't see your car outside. Well, I've been here for two days, but I parked the car around the back. Mm. Marley, I'm not. Well, I'm a bit. I'm a bit sore with Marley at the moment, but we'll have to see. Yeah, we I've gone some... right off the fella. Mm. That this whole Rohan Rose situation's really, you know, ticked me off about it. Yeah. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I've just seen the next line. You're going to love this. Right. <laughs> Marilyn is in hot water with Irene. Now, I don't think they're in a jacuzzi. <laughs> no, I have a feeling. I this is a ticking <laughs> off. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see that. Because <laughs> <laughs> as we were saying yesterday, we've seen Kirby saying, are you sure Irene's OK with us selling this stuff in the diner, making the diner into a day spa? Are you sure she's OK with us giving away free coffee with every purchase of your stuff that you're, <laughs> make, you're making money out of it, not the diner? Driving sure all can... your customers away. Mm. <laughs> yeah, demoing stuff to people and putting creams on them in the middle of the diner. Irene doesn't know anything about this, does she? No, she no. actually was on a day off, clearly, when all this kicked off. <laughs> I think she was at the coffee cart or something, wasn't she? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she was at the coffee cart because she was watching um, Brie and Remy oh, over, yeah. over each other, wasn't yeah. she? Yeah, you two yes. birds. Yeah, yeah ah, she, was. she was down there. She's got no idea about those nine boxes in her kitchen. Or... <laughs> and Ma- Marilyn and Irene are just gold together. They always they remind are. me of home and away of old, so I'm looking forward to seeing what happens there. Absolutely. I mean, she was giving her a ticking off last week, wasn't she? Before the boxes even arrived, she was like, selling organics, la, 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 la. And Irene was like, yeah, table three, Marilyn, you're at work. <laughs> Come on. You better work, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was going proper Brittany on her ass. But there we go. <laughs> so we're looking forward to that bit, I think. Oh, dear. Right. Xander and Rose clash. Mm. Xander and Rose clash. What are they? Is it about up? Marley? Maybe because Xander's pally with oh, Marley. No, I've just realised what I think it might be. I think it's the oh. funeral. You know, last this last week, Xander keeps saying to her, "Find out when Jamie's funeral is. I want to know. I want to know." And then she's oh, on the yeah. phone to him. He's in, still in hospital. She's on the phone to him, and she says, "Oh, I don't know anything about the funeral. I've got to go. I'll speak to you later." And Bree's there, and she says to Bree, "Oh, the funeral's this week, actually, but I haven't told him because." Yeah. I don't oh, want yeah. him to stress out and he's, you know, and Bree's like, oh, I think you should tell him. Like, I think, you know, it's his friend, it's his colleague. I think you should tell him the no. truth. Yeah. So ha- has he missed the funeral, do we think? Yeah, because about, yeah, if he misses that funeral, he's going to, he's, oh, God. Oh, it's not her place to, to, to censor no. stuff like that. She's a meddler, though, isn't she? She is a meddler. Mm. Oh, that's not going to be good. It's not going to be good, no. Okay. Um. Oh, this is odd. 
Marilyn <laughs> falsely accuses John, and that's all it says. Marilyn falsely accuses John of what? Okay. I can't even guess that. Has he been stealing some <laughs> face <Moisturizer>. cream? <laughs> <laughs> some day and night. Where's uh, that mud mask on, John? I'm not <laughs> you. You're looking wet. Yeah. <laughs> Are you Your looking skin... rainy? <laughs> <laughs> That's a skin peel if ever I saw one, John. <laughs> <laughs> You're like 10 years younger than you did yesterday and my product's gone. <laughs> two and two. Mm. Oh, it could be. I have no idea. Or, knowing that she needs the cash, is he putting dummy orders in? <laughs> oh, yeah. Has he got a whole box of stunning organics in his kitchen now? Because he's been yeah. ordering them under, like... Or, yeah, or does she yeah. suspect he is? Because it's a, only an accusation, isn't it? It's a false one. It's probably mm. not that, then. Mm. Miss Jonetta. Mm. Palmerina. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. Oh, you're going to roll your eyes now. Sorry. Just oh, a God. warning. Okay. Justin's counselling is off to a fiery start. He's not learned his lesson. God. Yeah. I've got nothing to say. Should we I'm skip sorry. on? <laughs> Let's skip on. Oh, this, this is something we were talking about yesterday on the pod. Xander considers a career change. Yo, you were right, weren't you? Yeah, well, I did think you were saying he's not cut out for the job. And then I was thinking, yeah, yeah I think you're right. And also, I don't think I'd want to go back to work after that. I think I'd want yeah. to leave. Yeah, yeah. he's too mm. soft. He you is. You've got to see, see, and see things, awful things, aren't you, doing being a paramedic? But you also don't expect to lose your life being a paramedic either, do you? I think that's, no, that's the thing true. that's, that's yeah. sort of... This week I was yeah. like, yeah, actually, you, you go in there to save lives, you go in there to help people, and yes, occasionally you don't, you, you know, you can't help someone, and that is part and parcel of the job. Part and parcel of the job is not being killed on your shift, though, is it? That's a bit... Problem is here, you're right, but if he leaves this career and this job, mm. is he going to struggle finding anything else that feels as rewarding and fulfilling mm. as mm. helping people like that? Yeah. He's gonna have to find something. Well, that's maybe that's oh. why he could go off and do the teaching with Marley, like helping helping somebody achieve something. But it's a good thing. It's always a good outcome. Lifeguard. Could yeah, lifeguard. something like that. Maybe a good life coach, or a, it needs to do something with where it's always going to be a good outcome, possibly. Yeah. Because mm. I think I think because like, Neeks left and he mm. was the lifeguard. You know, he's, still, and he's obviously first aid trained, you know, mm. uh, I'm obviously like, that's not what you're saying, though, where it needs to be a good outcome, because um, mm. it might not be. Uh, that's true. Yeah. That could... job. It's still a bit risky, that, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. Interesting. We'll have to see. Uh, OK, Marilyn's makeover ends in disaster. Makeover? Is she making someone else over or is she making herself over? I don't know. Got the, the other reaction. <gasps> uh oh. This product is going to be naff as it's not going to be all. I've got a no. feeling it's a big scam. It's, it's not going to be vegan and you know. No. I think I think there's going to be something about this dodgy company. Me, this done in organics. It's turn my face green. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it'll be Irene. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look like a flaming galah. Yeah. <laughs> I think it might be. Uh, Justin makes a breakthrough. Okay, so he was kicking off or something on the previous episode, the fiery start, but now he's got a breakthrough. Good for him. Should be in prison. <laughs> <laughs> we'll not forget that, will we? <laughs> Next year, we'll be saying, and where's his community service? Yeah. Someone, a listener's going to tell me I'm being unfair here, but maybe I, I am. I don't know. I don't think you are. I think everyone's siding with Justin because they know him and because, but if you didn't know him, if you were on the other side of the fence, if you were the guy that got beaten up, you wouldn't be okay with this. You no. Wouldn't. Yeah. I think you have to put yourself in his shoes and think, actually, he's got away with quite a lot here. Mm, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, this is an interesting oh. line. Marley's Ooh, makeover. Marley's makeover makes John jealous. 
things. So, oh, hang but on. The makeover doesn't go well, though, does it? That's the one yesterday. This is the next day. Marley's makeover makes John jealous. Is John? So, is John a bit? Is he still carrying a torch for Marilyn? And actually, it's <gasps> Ma- Marilyn touching Marley on the face and being all close to him. I hope so. I hope so. I think they are. They need to have the long road back to each other at some point. I've said mm. this before. Um. So. Um, the the makeover that's gone wrong is separate, are we saying? Yeah, the makeover that, that ended in disaster is the day before. And then the so next how many makeovers day... is she doing, I wonder? <laughs> I don't know. And who would go <laughs> back for the second one after the first one ended in disaster? <laughs> Marley, obviously. Yeah, I'm thinking, like, I don't know whether it's the outcome of the makeover that's making John jealous, like making John go, I wish I looked like Marley, or whether... <laughs> It's, I don't know whether it's because Marilyn obviously would have had to get close to him and probably massage mm. him, touch him. Yeah, yeah. And, and John's John, going, hmm, I'm not liking do me- that. Do you remember us saying that John's gives off a bit of a lonely vibe these last yeah. six months or so, hasn't he? Last He's year, not... yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Okay, interesting. Oh, Marilyn fights fire with fire. I don't know what that is. Is there a rival rep on her turf? <laughs> oh, maybe. Shots fired. Yeah. This used to happen if you cro- One of my very earlier jobs for some extra cash was the Better Wear catalogue. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm admitting this on the podcast. Um, and, you know, <laughs> if someone crossed into your territory, it was like handbags at dawn. Oh, yeah. On my patch. Oh, Selling yeah. my patch. Yeah. Yeah. Could be. The Avon rep, you only have one, don't you? You can't, you know, you need yeah. to be buying off whoever yeah. does your area. Yeah. Mm, could be something <laughs> like that. And then to end the week, oh dear. Again, you may roll you may roll your eyes at this. Oh, just it by any chance. Yeah. Go it on. is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Ready? You ready? As are, I'll ever be. Are Justin's anger issues the last straw for Leah? And I think we probably just need to skip over that because he's on the it. sofa again. He's a, <laughs> the exhale said enough. Um, <sighs> yeah, she's putting up. Do you know? I said to you, didn't I, the other week when all this kicked off and he and he and he, and he booted this fella? She mm. said she was surprisingly good about it. She sort of told him she was so disappointed, can't look at you, blah 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 blah. But mm. she stuck by him through the court case and everything. Yeah, like she has been there, very supportive for him. Mm. Um, and not very Leah, if you ask me. <laughs> um, and then, obviously, he's lashing out again, is he? And she's like, right, you're never going to change. I've had enough. He's just, pro- where we're up to, She's he's just promised her that he'll change. You know, That's he's true. given it, he's given her his word. If he goes on, if he goes against that, you're right. My eyes will be rolling so loudly. You'll be able to hear <laughs> him from your house. Um, but, yeah. yeah, I'm not, not. Ooh, not fault it. but I won't blame her for walking out on him I'd be like sometimes people like that need to be taken right to the wire mm. you know like lose some of the love mm. for them to see how bad how bad it's got yes so maybe yeah. it's maybe she'll do him a favor by telling mm. him she's off mm. Mm. don't know yeah like a wake-up call type thing yeah we belong together 